George Mason University in Arlington was chosen as the venue to launch Startup Virginia, an effort to reach entrepreneurs and give them the support they need. Arlington's economic development helped organize and support the event. It says a lot about the Arlington entrepreneurial community and the fact that Startup Virginia would host their event here in Arlington today. Almost 500 people came this morning with a lot of energy, a lot of ideas around entrepreneurship in the Commonwealth and in the D.C. region. Arlington was at the epicenter of that conversation. Anish Chopra was here, Steve Case was here, Jonathan Aberman was here. All the players involved in entrepreneurial activities, they chose Arlington as a location to kick things off and we're very proud of that. What is it all about? So thank you for joining today. Startup Virginia is one state that has stepped up through entrepreneurial leadership of people like Jonathan Aberman who have said, we really need to have a much closer community of the entrepreneurs in the entire state and frankly the entire metro area. Uh, what we've done relatively quickly uh, is we've coalesced a growing number of entrepreneurs and, and, and key leaders from around the state and asked the question, what do we need to do in the Commonwealth um, to promote more vibrant startup formation. And so this is an initiative to really bring all of the amazing resources that are already available to entrepreneurs under one common umbrella and make them available and frankly visible to the entrepreneurs so that they feel like they're not going it alone and they can get access to all the help and resources that they need and really build highly scalable businesses right here in Virginia. Our partners, the Case Foundation and the Kaufman Foundation, really leading the way. It would be invaluable to have access to the resources of something like Startup Virginia. Old Power CEO Dan Yates exemplifies the type of entrepreneur that Startup Virginia is trying to reach. He decided to dedicate his professional life to sustaining what remains of our natural world. And I was thinking about like trying to help save a rainforest in like uh, Canada, and my wife didn't want to move up there. <laughs> Opower is an energy efficiency software company that works with utilities, giving customers the information they need to save on energy use. But Arlington isn't the place you usually associate with startup tech companies. I came here from the Bay Area where it has, it's well known as having the you know, largest and most vibrant entrepreneurial tech community in the country. So I came here fearing the worst uh, and have been pleasantly surprised. There's thousands of really talented entrepreneurially minded people buried in these enormous IT integration shops who, when they hear about a company like Opower, leap at the chance to make a move. But like any startup, getting the right resources is crucial. You can't hit go until you get capital, so that's most often the critical stage gate that stops an entrepreneur in their tracks. Most of the people I know here who are running startups in the D.C. region have primarily gotten funding from regional venture capitalists. Arlington County is very active with the venture capital community. It's important that our entrepreneurs, those folks in Arlington with a good idea, have access to the capital through the VCs, through the angel investors, and that we leverage those partnerships appropriately. Arlington Economic Development already has a program to help entrepreneurs called BizLaunch. BizLaunch is really in the trenches with that entrepreneur. The entrepreneur has a good idea, we put it into action, we create a business plan in partnership with the entrepreneur, and Startup Virginia and Startup America is really the larger framework to then assist that entrepreneur in where they want to go with their idea, who they want to do business with, how they want to have access to capital. The problems that you face as an entrepreneur are all the problems that Startup Virginia is helping people address. It's access to capital, It's you know, access to mentors, it's access to other potential entrepreneurs who can help you. It's oftentimes the, the difference between somebody starting a company and not is feeling like they're surrounded by other like-minded people telling them they're not crazy. A lot of today's entrepreneurs want to live in an urban environment. And, uh, and as they grow up and as they start thinking about things like families, uh, they're going to want to have an urban environment, but they're going to want in a place that has good infrastructure, not just for their businesses, but also for their families. And Arlington, frankly, has good schools and good places for pit, for kids to be. And as we started Opower, I think we were lucky to find a great market and have a pretty good idea. Uh, but then the, the journey ever since has been, and when I think about my job, I always joke, I'm CEO, but I'm actually just the head of recruiting. 
and you know what? I've been pleased to, to find that uh, being based here in Arlington, we've found terrific people. Yeah, this is this has been a this has been a great place to build a company. So if you're an entrepreneur who needs help to make that next step, contact Arlington Economic Development at ArlingtonVirginiaUSA.com or you can visit Startup Virginia at www.va.s.co.